Welcome back to the Land Rover build. Um, so far, I've obviously got the back tub in and the back of the chassis done. I'm really concentrating on the braking system at the moment. I've got the brake pipes running from here right to the back. All the back's all connected right up to here now. Um, the problem I had really was this outrigger. The outrigger is a, an aftermarket one that's been pre-welded on. And I don't know if you can see it now, but it's got a flange on it. So I'm not really sure what that's doing. And on the other side, there was no provision for a master cylinder. There was just a, a hole, like a little hole, sort of cut there, and like a bit of tube welded through it. Well, the original, say the original. This is the original master cylinder. Let me show you a bit better. This is the proper Land Rover one. Um, quite a substantial thing. It's a two, it's a two bolt rather than the three bolt one. Um, but obviously. They had nowhere to bolt onto, so what I had to do is sort of think think outside the box. I hate that expression, but there you go. So what I had to do is I brought a Mark Mark Two. It's a Series Two on Land Rovers, and it's a Series Two. That's better. Series Two master cylinder, and it just about fits in. It's really really tight, but I've got it in there okay. Um, so, but what I ended up doing is getting a piece of six mil plate. If it could focus itself, or is it going to play around? It's going to play around. That's better. I'll get my finger out of the way. It's much better. All right, so I've got a bit of 6 mil plate. I'll cut a hole in there with a, a hole cutter. These are two studs. They're 8 mil studs. Um, I'll drill them and tap the plate. And on the back of my grand and my flat, I've got some Loctite on them. And I'll also put some centre punch marks in them, so it stops them from coming undone. Hope you understand that. Um, the plate itself at the moment is just tacked in. Well, not like pigeon shit, but it's tacked in. I just want to make sure everything's okay, but I'm quite happy with it now, so I can grind it up properly and weld it in. So that's that one. I've done the brake pipe. The brake pipe goes to the T. I don't think it's a four way connection, isn't it? Because the other one's there. So that's all done. I've got another connection that goes from here. It's a 7 16th. I think it goes up to here with the, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it, I call it like a supply cylinder for the um, master cylinder. I'll have a look at a few pictures so I can find out. So it's actually gone in really nice, it looks quite nice and tidy but if you look at the difference in, in comparison between that one there which is obviously a cheap and nasty Chinese one that costs I think it's about £18 and that's the original Land Rover one. It comes out at about two hundred thirty pound, so there's obviously a difference in quality, but hopefully it'll last. Um, you know, I can always get a spare one just in case it does play up. Now the other thing I have to do is where I have to line it all up. But this is the original part from the Land Rover. It actually fitted in in the original master cylinder. I swapped push rods over so I so this I can keep this piece. Uh, and it actually comes through now. You see it right in the middle. It doesn't it doesn't bind up and I'll get the full amount of travel on it. So it's all good. The only thing I did have to do on, on the pedal itself, I don't know if you can see in this, but that part there, I had to weld a plate over it because it's all rusted and falling apart and it decided it didn't work very well. So that's done. I had to make a new pin going through there because obviously it's longer now because it's that's thicker. The spring is supposed to go on like a, I call it like an anchor plate, but I don't know, I think it worked quite well like this, so I might just leave it alone. As you can see, so it works nicely. And you let it go, it pings back up, so I shall leave that alone. This is all just mocked up, because obviously I've got to take it all apart and paint it up probably yet. And I've still got to do the, the clutch lever. I'll have a go at that tomorrow. That's the mechanism for the clutch lever. Again, it's not going to focus. So, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that, so job's a good one. So, I hope you enjoyed Oh, yeah, the other thing I was going to do is because we've got this piece here it looks i'm going to try and i don't know if they're threaded holes or not but i might be able to drill them out and tap them with something and put some sort of gator over it to stop all the crap going in there because you're going to get all the mud and that and it's going to fill up so i have to do something quite creative for that there's a little hole there for a little water out but the mud's still going to go in there so i'll have a look see what i can find and uh, we'll come up with something well i hope you enjoyed watching the video and i'll see you again shortly bye now